Motion to amend. Yes. Move to, move to amend Bill 39, Draft 3, with the contents of communication 150.47. Need a second from someone? I hope I can get a second. Second. Thank you. Second from Mr. Kanuha. Go ahead, Ms. Ford. Okay. This is the same um, amendment that I had before. <coughs> I'll wait. What's wrong? This is the same amendment I brought forward, forward last time, but I have taken out all of the Kahala information uh, per the request of uh, Ms. Willie. So now what we have is, um, and I'm going to try to explain this again. Um, uh, if you look down <clears throat> about to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh paragraph, eighth paragraph, where it says HSAC and NACO, I'm taking 17,000 out of that section and I'm putting it into each one of our DAEs. So the total the total bucket of DAE will increase divided by 9. And you can see I put 162 into the DAE and $500 into other. Now let me just so we're going to be talking about this throughout this morning. So I want to read you some stuff. What the DAE <coughs> What they hey, first? Let me start with HSAC NACO. What it's allowed? Where it's allowed to be spent? This money is um, was to, apparently to be used for council members other than our representative, Mr. Onishi, to travel to NACO and these other types of events or whatever. It's most appropriate to put it in the DAE because if you read under the. HSAC NACO, that is, uh, that amount of money covers Mr. Onishi's travel. Your DAEs cover your travel. And in fact, if you will uh, look at the rules, uh, Rule 2A, I'm sorry, Rule 27, number 2A, DAEs are to cover incidental expenses to carry out your duty. Allowable expenses are community meetings such as <clears throat> facility rental fees, lays, certificates, research and reference material. And number four is the important part, NACO, WEIR, HSAC, conference or seminar registration fees including travel and accommodation costs associated with the conference or seminar attended and all travel expenses shall have the concurrence of the chairperson. So. Mr. Onishi has plenty of money <clears throat> in this line item, so we're taking, he's got, there was 45000 put in there, so he needs enough to do all of the things he needs to do, and I left that amount in there, and I took out 17000 that was apparently for the rest of us if we wanted to travel, and put it into the correct location, which is the DAE, <clears throat> which I just read to you, the DAE. So that's number one. That was a wash. I mean, it was just, and I'm not adding any m new money to our legislative budget at all. Okay, then the contingency relief. I took out uh, a lot of money the last time. This time it's just $900 per district, $8,100 total. <coughs> I apologize for my, my health here. Um, and I'm using that plus other money that I had also <laughs> scheduled for Kohala to cover the Ka'u video con conferencing site. Um, I would like to make a couple of comments based on some of the testimony you heard. First of all, I can only have one site at this time and I'll be lucky if I get the money for that. Um, and so we had to make a choice where to put it. We went all over, um, this is not just me, this is um, Ms. Smart pre preceding me and myself. <clears throat> I believe maybe the chair and the and the clerk have also attempted to find some place in Na'alehu, and we have been less than um, <sighs> successful. Um, the the Na'alehu Community Center, uh, Parks and Rec says no, we have too many programs going on and we're not gonna stop them for the council stuff. So Na'alehu is out. We haven't been able to find a single location. Secondly, regarding Pahala, I would love to have a second site in Pahala. And that would be my choice of a second site. But there's a couple of problems. The first problem is that there is a flood zone between Pahala and Na'alehu. If there's a rain situation and flooding going on, people can't get from the west side, and the Na'alehu side, and Ocean View side of Ka'u over to Pahala. That's something that Brittany and I both took into consideration when we selected Ocean View. The second, I second issue is the largest population in Ka'u is in the Ocean View area. Over 6,000 people in Ocean View compared to maybe about 1,800 in Pahala and about 2,400 in Na'alehu. So 
my goal is to get this started and we have started it keep it going in ocean view hopefully in another year when we have more available funds to put it into a second site into pahala one of the testifiers talked about it was not a neutral location well there, i don't know what what that really means it's all my district um, and i'm an, as neutral on any location as any other but i have to look at expenses and i have to look at you know the logistics of things so anyway that's the reason it's in ocean view at this point in time so i'm asking for the the council to um, allow these expenses to be taken out the way I have adjusted it and I hope I have your support to support the Ka'u district in its entirety with our very first site that we've been um, operating now for a few months. As you can see, we're still having issues and we will continue to work on those. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Ford. Any comments on the amendment? Council members? Ms. Poindexter? Yeah. I'm just, I, I know you talked about the uh, the distance. I was trying to look, Pahala to Ocean View is about 21 miles, is that correct? And then Pahala to Kona is about maybe 67 miles. I'm just looking at, um, you know, how you travel. So Ocean, so Ocean View to Pahala would be the 21 miles. And then Ocean View to Kona is 46 miles, I think, one way or something, about that, about? Mm -hmm. It depends on where you go. Right. Oh, yeah, and. And where in Ocean and, View. <coughs> Okay, so, but approximately, you're looking at. Mm -hmm. So then, when I looked at Pahala, if the site was in Pahala, which has a, uh, you said that already with Senator Inouye's um, funding, you had a fiber optic cable. I mean, I've been, I mean, today we've been experiencing the kind of problems we had with connectivity in Ka'u, so, um, if Pahala had to travel like they're doing now, they either would have to travel to Pahoa, which is the nearest site, which would probably be about, um, I forget how many miles, 60 something miles away or, but I'm just looking at for the people, where would be the most <coughs> neutral place to go? Because even if you had a, if you had a flood thing happening in Ka'u Pah Pahala, the, the people in Pahala still couldn't get up Ocean View, so I, I the argument there, I'm having a hard time with that, but I'm seeing that we have a place that has a lot of businesses, the schools, the activity there that needs a lot of input into a lot of things that come before the council. So. Um, that's what I'm struggling with, because when I heard your testimony today, you know, um, I'm just impressed that, that we have something there that the community already, the board and the community has been wanting this. Um, so is it okay if I ask, bring you up to ask you a yeah, question? Go ahead. <laughs> so, my question, uh, can you just state your name for the record so that um, Mark? Uh, I mean, it's Jesse Auntie Mark. Jesse, they call you, right? <laughs> Auntie Jesse's. <yeah. laughs> okay. Um, so is it only now that they're interested in this, or how long has the community be, been interested in having a site there in Pahala, close, you know? I had this conversation a while back, just during the um, elections. Um, Brenda had come to see me regarding another uh, issue that we were talking about, and I did explain expressed to her. She did in fact ask me about um, what my um, thoughts were on the different sites and I did share with her. Um, my concern again was about the, the participation in Ocean View. The other was that um, Na'alehu would be a great place also but I knew the difficulties in getting a site because I've been working with the college and such to getting something out there and that we did in fact have our facility um, that had been upgraded also because of Senator Inouye with the fiber optics. So that was my preference, and I did um, share this with her. And previous to that, in Brittany Ford's time, were the community mm. interested in having it? I'm Brittany Ford. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, I'm so sorry. 
Brittany Smart. During her time, did the community approach? Well, her? we had never we had never been approached about this discussion in terms of having a satellite. We uh, have had different board members, and the board members often talked about different possibilities. But again, we had never known that this was on the table for discussion or input. OK, thank you very much. Yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of struggling with this because I see uh, a vibrant community out there just wanting uh, that and with businesses and schools and, you know, with the students there also uh, that could probably come before the council also. So I'm, I'm struggling with that um, right now. So thank you, but thank you for answering my questions. Okay, thank you, Ms. Poindexter. Mr. Onishi. <coughs> thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay, I had some questions to ask Ms. Ford. Go ahead. Okay. Ms. Ford, is that okay with you? Okay. Um, take that as a firm. <laughs> that was uh, a... <coughs> can, can you explain <coughs> some of the details on your expenses for the proposed site? And one is, okay, well, I guess we can go down the line. Um, with this with this amendment, are you um, requesting for 20, 2900 for paying for telephone service? That is for the modem. Okay, so just the modem, not, so the telephone, so the, the modem, okay, because you know, if you, okay, so the modem is 2900 correct? That's what I've been okay, told. Okay, and then, let's see, okay, this is computer leases, 15. What does that mean? That is not for the Ka'u site. That's to get more computers um, for the entire legislative branch. We don't have enough computers, and I have been trying for almost a year to get a computer for my staff, which would only be one out of the 15. We are dealing with a lot of really archaic equipment and old software that cannot handle it. So this has nothing to do with the Ka'u site. It has to do for every single council member who needs a computer that actually works, isn't on the verge of crashing on a daily basis. Okay, so why is this in this amendment? Why isn't it separate? Because it's for the legislative branch. This amendment is not just about Ka'u. This amendment is for the entire legislative branch. That's why the HSAC and the DAE are involved there. That's not for Ka'u either. Yeah, that's for the legislative branch. Okay. Well, I think that's where it's kind of confusing, I think, because when you look at this, I, we can understand that HSAC and the contingency funds, we can understand that part, like, because it's a subtract and minus kind of thing. I mean, sorry, not contingency funds, but HSAC and our DAE. That's a... That's where you can see it. But with the other rest, it's kind of confusing because when you look at this, it looks like we're leasing 15 computers for Ka'u. No, okay. I just stated that. I, I know, I understand okay. that, but if you just look at this, it doesn't explain that. So, Mr. Anisha, you're saying that if I had made this into three separate um, yes. things, you would have been happy. Yes. You would have passed all of them. No, but because they're together, you're not going to pass Correct. Them. That's a possibility. Okay. Okay. And, well, and then and the thing is, after listening to Auntie Jessie, because talking to her, okay, because right now, okay, the OCE, okay, you you wanna have twenty, okay, this is your total expense, twenty five thousand one hundred dollars for the Kau video conferencing. Is that what you need? No, I just explained I have three separate things on here. If you add everything up, you'll come up to twenty one thousand five hundred. But I have. The legislative branch, the ASAC, HSAC, and the DAE. Okay, but if you look at your the front page, okay, your expenditures, clerk services, OCE by twenty five thousand one hundred dollars for Kau video conferencing. Okay, let me try this one more time, Mr. Onishi. It says for Kau video conferencing, comma, DAE, comma, and leasing computers comma, and decreases meetings and stuff. It, you gotta read the whole sentence. Okay. You just can't extract one okay. thing out of and it. And then, okay, now, but then if you read down, this is meetings, hearings by $13,400, right? And this amendment also decreases the amounts, eight sack NACO by 17, and contingency relief funds by 8,100. So what you're saying is that, 
by taking the 13,400, 13, the 8,100, and the 17 when equal to the 25,100. 25, Yes. But then if you add all that three up, doesn't it come out to like, what is this, 30? There may, hold on. 38,500? No, because you're taking 17,000 out of HSAC and you're taking 8,100 um, 81 out of the contingency. Okay. You add those two together, and that comes up to 25100 which is spread out through the rest of the bill. Okay, but then also you say here, but you see, if you read the whole sentence, what I was reading earlier about the 25100 it says, and, it, it says, and decrease, decreases meeting hearings by 13400 Okay, I'm, I'm completely lost. I, it should be 21500 So are, yeah, you're helps. saying that there's a mistake on page one. Instead of 2151, it's 21500, correct? Well, that's, yeah, I mean, if you're reading it correctly, like you see in the 17,000 and then the 8,100, there's only so 20,000. So page one that's got you concerned. Well, the whole thing is concerned. But see, my, my thing is too, you know, after listening to Auntie Jesse about how um, Pahala has all the, um, I guess, the adequate equipment and the, the, the uh, modem and they have all the, um, the wires, the, the, you know, the fiber optic and stuff. Instead of spending, uh, we're looking at maybe, uh, well, this is kind of hard to tell, but we, we're looking at like over maybe $15,000. If there's an agreement with the rural, rural, um, what? Rural, community, rural Health Community Health Association. Yeah. And we pay them just $1,000 a month for rent, you eliminate a lot of these expenses. And I don't know if this um, Kau Video Conference site, is it Lua? Is that Lua? Like those portable toilets that we're going to be re leasing or renting? That's a question to you, Ms. Ford. A portable toilet? Yes. We're, we're using the toilets in the community center at Ocean View. And so we have to pay? No. What's what you don't see in here is the fact that both I have been working with the administration to locate a site in Ocean View that would, be, would belong to the county. It might be a temporary building which would need a Lua. I've put that in there because we hope to do that very, very soon. So, why are we putting in things where we don't even know what's happening? Because or we're trying to buy the parcel of land as we speak. Can I get finance to come up? Let him finish with yeah. Yana and then we can I'll call you back. Thank you. You can um, introduce yourself. So, Diana Sako, Deputy Director of Finance. So, you just heard the comment about the Fresh. You just heard about the comments that Ms. Ford had mentioned. Are you folks try, like working with the councilwoman about trying to find a permanent site? You working with Ken in yes. property management? Yes. Yeah. And so um, what is, um, or I mean, I, well, maybe Ken has I'm to I'm not this. sure what the yes, current but, status but, is. I didn't think to check with him okay. before the meeting, but um, I'm sure he's diligently working on that project. He is. Okay. But then so what I'm saying is that, you know, well, no, thank you. And back to the councilman. Like when the site is found or it's a permit, it's a done deal. Then we can come back and maybe try to find some money within our budget to help pay for that. But then right now we have a facility that can be offered to us with everything that we don't have to pay, and all we have to do is pay rent. And talking to Auntie Jesse, they might agree to like a thousand dollars a month for us to lease out that or rent out that space for those for our meetings. So that means our expense is only going to be like $12,000 compared to this like must be at least like 20000 if you add up everything for for um, for the uh, Ocean View site. So I, you know, to me, I would rather spend the twelve than spending the, the, the 20 So, I, you know, right now I cannot support this unless, like Miss Willie mentioned, that if we can separate this 
and we can go I don't know, li line by line or do different amendments where we can have three different amendments and that way we can vote on that but thank you okay thank you Mr. Onishi Miss Willie oh, wait oh, hold on one second you, you didn't go yet but Miss Ford wanted you're going to keep it um, I'll keep brief it as short. far as the okay I'm going to let her respond to Mr. Onishi thank then you. go to you Miss Willie then Mr. Kern the most underserved area in Kau is Ocean View it also has the largest population they have absolutely nothing absolutely nothing I'm trying to be fair and, uh, and provide services in Ocean View and that is the, the location where we are trying to get a parcel of land that we can use as a, as a permanent site not necessarily a permanent office it may be temporary also if we wind up going to Pahala then I would certainly insist that council and committee services drive to Pahala and staff that site you have not considered all the travel time for that um, we're also working I'm working with the chair I'm working with the clerk on uh, reducing um, the our expenses by having a site coordinator there none of these things have any has anyone considered in trying to shoot down this thing if you shoot this down it means cost who's not going to have anything. As far as a Lua for a temporary building um, on a permanent site, um, I've, you know, we need to put money in advance. We need to start being proactive instead of reactive. We need to put money in the budget when we know these things are coming down the pipe instead of waiting and saying, because next year, when, if we get the site, next year I'm sure I'll hear some people on the council saying, hey, we have no money for that. So you can't have the site even though you now have the land. We're also working on getting a free temporary building. Those are all things that have not been considered. So the reason this is in here, and you know, I apologize if you think that, you know, having one, one thing for the legislative branch is too much for us to understand. I believe that most council members will understand this, but we need to do this, and we need to do it in Ocean View. The second site, I will be in Auntie Jessie's office asking her for a spot, but right now, we need to provide services in Ocean View. That is the most underserved and largest population in Kau. Okay, Miss Willie. Okay, um, a, a few points. Um, let me say that I did share um, Councilmember Onishi's confusion, um, and I did think of it as Kau, and uh, I do see the commas, but I just want to say that I, I agree, and I do see some of these issues as separate. Um, but most importantly, in terms of the Ocean View site, I feel that we ought to be deferring to Miss Ford's judgment. I would not, I think that we each have a certain kuleana in our area to determine where the need is and where a site should be and where the priorities are. I mean, one of the things that sounds to me, um, I happened to meet, have lunch with people from Ocean View yesterday, there weren't enough seats in a restaurant, and talking about it, and it sounds like there isn't much there and that in fact I think that's one good reason to have this there and in terms of they were discussing the population so I'm not sure what's best but I would like to say that I feel I want to respect Miss Ford in making those calls I mean I'm not saying don't ask questions but I think ultimately where's the priority or where's second but um, then in terms of Per, you know, where's a permanent site? I have some problems with that. I think we already have some money in here for Kau, so I'm a little bit confused mm -hmm. because we're, um, I mean, if we look at this comprehensively, maybe at some point we ought to comprehensively look at where all of our sites are. I mean, I'm on a month to month. I'd like to be at least renting year to year, you know. So um, I'm just not saying anything against permanent, but I'm also saying, um, you know, we're buying a lot. We're uh, so nothing. I'm not trying to be negative against Miss Ford, but I think looking at at our sites and where we have the money. Maybe I, I maybe I need more convincing before we're buying a permanent location. Um, and on that, I don't feel convinced. On the computers, again, I think that should be separated out. Um, I don't have a problem with needing more computers. I like uh, anyway. I think that's a separate discussion. And also, I think. And I'm going to make a motion to separate these. I just can't look at them all together. And in the NACO, I really appreciate that amendment. Um, 
and moving it. I know I decided to withdraw from going to Washington, D.C. because I was felt I needed to do some things in Honolulu that really were important. And then I... I went, and then none of that was covered, all of my Honolulu, where I felt I was trying to be balanced and not spend all that money and be able to have something to do things that I felt, whether it was supporting the district park in Waimea, that testimony, or trying to keep you know, the, a bill from gutting county government, and none of that was covered. So I appreciate that. So I just want to say I have some mixed impressions um, and I would like to make a motion and I'll let Miss Ford respond but I'm not trying to be negative I'm just trying to be a little more orderly here um, and somehow I don't want to vote this up and up or down uh, or as it stands okay before you do that Miss Willie if I can hear from yeah. anyone else okay Mr. Kern thank you um, uh, Miss Ford could you refresh my memory on what is the Kau site currently costing us now per month it depends on if which section you're talking about. If it's the rent, it's a hundred dollars per day. Oh yeah, o okay. over overall, the from the modem, the the rent, um, it's staffing. Probably, well, it's crazy. Probably we're somewhere between nine to twelve thousand dollars right now, but that's nine to twelve thousand. I'm sorry, thousand right now, but we're trying to get that down. To something around seven, seven, seven hundred and five hundred, seven thousand five hundred, something like that. I forget a what year. it is. Yeah. Okay. But that remember, this is a temporary site. We're trying to get the new site, mm -hmm. which would cost us no rent. I'll discuss that in a couple seconds. Thank you. Um, you know, I. I'm really happy since the the first time that this discussion came out, and we, I was waiting for uh, folks to testify in Kau, and it wasn't really happening. We had some discussion; it seemed to spark that, and more folks started testifying in Kau. It was great. That's what I, I was really hoping to see. That so I do support uh, video conferen conferencing out there. It's I agree with uh, both uh, Mr. Onishi and Ms. Willie that having these three in this makes it much more challenging to actually. Um, it, it feels almost like a little bit of a Christmas tree um, style bill where it's, it has other things decorated in there that certain parts of it make sense, but it's kind of forcing us to uh, to, pl to have this other play in there. I just don't like that. We should have it bifurcated, separated, take each one on there, because some of the ideas are great in there. Um, my concern, though, is, is increasing the overall budget for video conferencing. While it's a good thing, we do need to make sure that we are c keeping costs down and controlling costs. And, and having a permanent site, you probably know more about that than I do, but I also think there's value in partnering in the community. So there's community benefit, whether it be with a nonprofit, a group like uh, Auntie Jessie here, whatever it is, to keep those costs down and, and have it be more part of the community. To have just a standalone site for video conferencing alone, that seems like a big, big expenditure just for that alone when we have other um, areas where we could be doing that. So. With that, I, I think I'm I'm support separating these out, and I would like to keep the costs basically proportionate to what we have been spending now. If we can do it for this now, yep. let's keep doing that. So with that, I'll yield, and uh, thank you. Um, council members, uh, I don't want to engage in the debate of this motion, but I do have information, I guess, that would be helpful to the council, because I think Ms. Willie had asked the question about, well, isn't this, isn't there some money in the budget? So if, if there's no objection, I just want to provide information to the council members so you can help make your decision. I mean, yes, there is money in the budget for the Kau site. And to give brief history, um, you know, when the term began, the Kau site had just become online, like, you know, the one or two meetings before this term. And, you know, <coughs> at the beginning, Ms. Ford and I had a discussion about about continuing the site and you know we had a miscommunication in terms of what the expectations were and we have since resolved it which is good so you know there, there is money in the budget for the site as it stands now um, so there is additional things that Ms. Ford wants for the site as, as she has explained so I think that's you know you know a real important part of the discussion because she does have these plans and, and wants you know things to to be improved so um, but to, un to understand there is money for the temporary site right now 
now as it is. Um, so, Ms. Ford, you, you, and you correct me or you, if you disagree, but so these things are additional things that you're thinking about for long-term planning. Is that accurate? Yes, I'm attempting to do long-term planning. Okay, so anyway, so that's to answer the question, and I'm, I'm not engaging with it. Mr. Kern? Mr. Chair, just to clarify what, what you're saying there for the sake of the public. So in the event this is voted down, this does not mean that the Ka'u conferencing site is shut down. The money still exists to money do exactly exists. what we've been doing. Right, and then and we, we, um, you know, we, had, we had a discussion to talk about the staffing and, you know, and things like that. So we can do it. Uh, we definitely can. Um, yes. Thank you. Okay, Miss Eoff. Oh, I was going to ask the pretty much the same thing that's on in discussion right now is if someone could clarify for us how much money is in the budget for the Ka'u site and then if Ms. Ford could separate um, this amendment so that we could see what exactly is the additional needed to keep Ka'u running. Um, but I also have the the other side is uh, I'm very interested in, in Pahala and I understand that it, it's separating um, those people from the opportunity to testify too, so I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Um, unfortunately, right now, um, the Ka'u site is the only one available for, uh, I mean, the Ocean View site is the only one available for Ka'u, and um, I'm interested in making sure that that stays online. Well, I'd like to know if what's in the budget now is enough, um, or if Ms. Ford is going to um, make it a little more clear what exactly we need to keep that site going at this time. And I'm not sure who from our branch can explain to us um, how much is in the budget and if that's enough, but um, that would be my question at this point. Okay, um, I can answer that. So we have, I think Ms. Ford said 7,200, and, and that's, that's the number for the rent, for the modem, and in terms of staffing, we were gonna go out for a miscellaneous contract services from a separate part of our budget. So this is not the total cost, but this is the cost for, um, for the, currently for the site itself, but we were gonna, um, yeah, go go and have other people staff it for just those uh, four days, yeah, four days a month. So so we factored in that there would be money in our budget from our miscellaneous contract portion of our budget. So that's not a separate line item. That's a you know, but that's a broader account that we can uh, accomplish. That. So Ms. Ford and I did talk about it. So that's something that you know we had resolved, and hopefully I get some credit somewhere along the line, Ms. Ford, for doing that. But that's okay. I'm only I'm only kidding. Yeah, you but don't I'm have to. You glad have to, to give you, you credit for working, and and Mr. Uh, Maeda too. Um, I'm not trying to do anything in a vacuum. I've been working with the staff of the administration. I've been working with the community, Jay and uh, Stuart. And, um, you know, we're trying to plan ahead instead of constantly being reactive and not having what we need to get going. Okay, anyway, so that answers uh, Ms. Eoff's question. Ms. Eoff, do you have any other thing to add to that? No? Okay. Um, uh, hold on. Mr. Onishi yeah. wanted to say something, yes. and then we're going to go... <coughs> Back to Ms. Ford, because I think Ms. Willie wanted to make a motion after yeah. that. Thank okay. you, Mr. Chair. Mr. Yeah, no, I, I just listening to what Ms. Ford mentioned is that, you know, she's worried about Ocean View. But to me, being the representative for District 6, she, she, she should be taking care of all of her district, in, which is like Pahala and also included. Because that's what I have heard earlier when she made a comment. But um, just to move on, you know, I cannot support the council paying for a part time coordinator. To me, your office, your staff is supposed to be in your district and they supposed to be manning this. We cannot be having or, or, or hiring extra staff for that privilege. And also, like if I look at like uh, in District 4, their whole staff moved out from here and they moved down to Pahua because they want to be in their district. So to me, as if I was a council member in District 6, I would have my staff and myself in that district at whatever location we could find for that, for, for um, helping out our um, conti uh, constituents. Okay, what was also mentioned about this 15 computers, okay. We, if we approve this budget without this 15 computers, we, we the finance or IT will be leasing 1,000 computers. And to my understanding, of that 1,000, a portion will be coming to the council's, um, council services, our staff, and to also the council members. So I don't see why we have to lease 50 more when we already going to give approval to lease 1,000 computers. So I cannot support that too. And so, you know, I really encouraging Ms. Willie to do that uh, motion to separate all the different ones. And as Mr. Kern had mentioned, yes, it's like, 
if we vote this down, everything goes down. And which is wrong. It's like a package deal. It's like, it's like uh, to me, like um, telling the council members, hey, if you want these certain things, you gotta support my other stuff, which is wrong. And, and so we need to separate this. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Onishi. Ms. Ford. Thank you. I don't have a problem separating this, first of all. We, I don't even need a motion. I can table it. My staff can take care of it. That's not an issue. I really take extreme offense saying that I don't consider the needs of all of my district. That's the whole reason we're doing what we're doing in Ocean View. Because Naleu has everything, Pahala has everything, and Ocean View has nothing. That's when you start considering what to do. So Mr. Of I am very offended by that. Secondly, it's cheaper to hire, thank Mr. Ani uh, Mr. Ashita, would you like to come up here and laugh in public? Okay, thank you. It's cheaper to hire a site coordinator. Point, point of order. Um, we're me. supposed to be in dialogue. To call out Excuse Corporation me. Council yeah. and ask them to laugh well, is, is extremely rude. To. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please ask okay. him not hold to on, sit there and on. just laugh in hold my on, face. Hold on, everyone. Hold on, hold on. This, this is ridiculous okay. And, okay. and very rude. We need, we need to have a, a decent level of decorum. Okay. Okay. Thank so you. Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold, Ms. Ford. Thank you. Take a moment, take a moment. Thank you. It is cheaper. We sat here and did the numbers on this with, with I talked to Mr. Uh, Yoshimoto and I talked to Mr. Maeda and we determined it is cheaper to hire a site coordinator than have my staff traveling or even worse, committee and council services, which I had been advocating from the beginning. It was gonna cost, I don't, 17? Some huge amount of money that was ridiculous. And we said it'll cost more than that for my staff to go down there and do it. So. This was the least expensive way we could do it, and I came up with this idea and sold it to Mr. Yoshimoto and Mr. Maeda because it's the least expensive way to handle it. Third, about me moving into Ka'u with my staff. There's no place to move to. There's no county building that we can use. Next, next, I'm trying to get this new site. We've already passed the bill to buy the Ka'u uh, park and ride bus stop. That's where the site is going to be. We've already passed it as a council, and now you're telling me you're not going to let me use it. Oh, well, that's interesting. So next thing, Mr. Kern and Ms. Poindexter are not in their districts. Are you going to hire or buy offices or rent offices in those districts and force them and their staff to move? No, because in Kona and Hilo, that's where we have the most staff. It doesn't matter that I'm sitting in my primary office in Kona because there's no place for me to go in Kau to have an office where I can have a staff. You guys are, are making up stuff just to trash this bill. You're making it up. Okay. Can I? Um, hold on. Let's see. Ms. Ford was wanting to, um, uh, to, to change it. I will it. defer to Ms. Ford if she will wants to. Whichever is easier. This break. Yeah. I mean, I would like to just um, move that we. I guess the word wouldn't be bifurcate, but we separate. Um, By the question or. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move well, to to separate each of these items that are listed here. Bef okay, so by commas. While you're while you're doing that, Miss Willie, let's check with our legislative staff to see if that's the uh, best way to do it, um, Mr. Henricks or his. Hold on, we're just checking and seeing. Mr. Clerk. Uh, maybe if Ms. Ford is willing to withdraw the amendment and work on a new amendment. That would be the cleanest approach to do it as I'm separate uh, three, I guess, or whatever number she chooses to. Okay, so if she'll do that, then let's. That's fine. Um, shall we, Ms. Ford, you want to withdraw that and work on your I'll separate? I'll withdraw it. Excuse me, I will withdraw it and I'll have my staff do a new one. Okay. And if you don't want the, the public to have a toilet, that's fine with me too. Okay. Okay, so you're going to withdraw it at this time? Yes. We're going to move on. You need Ms. Poindexter, well, Ms. Poindexter, she, she just withdrew it, so I, I, we're going to have to come back on this. That's and correct? I, yeah. would, I, can I have just want to make a clarification for the... There's a lot of mis public misperception when you're speaking, so I, I was wanting to make sure that they know that 
yeah, uh, Council Member Kern and myself, we are in um, Hilo offices, and we do not have video conferencing like everybody else does. Oh, too. Yes. Well, in for my people district. in the community, in the district, when you were ref referring to the districts, you know, and I sh what, that we're not working in our districts cut. either, but I don't have the ability or the funding like you do. You're fortunate enough to have a video conferencing site right now in Ocean View, which I currently support as the status quo. Cut. So I just wanted to make it clear that we're I don't have that up, uh, same privilege as you do. Okay, so Ms. Ford has withdrawn the amendment, so we're going to wait I for... Um, withdraw my motion. So Ms. Ford, you're going get, to get that taken care of uh, as soon as possible, correct? If I could have five minutes, I just, all I'll do is let my staff start on this okay. and I'll come right back. Recess five minutes. Thank you.